Ryan Arzi here with Foiling Magazine. We finally linked up with Axis and Adrian Roper, the head designer, who's got some amazing things for us. We've got the ART Pro Range and the Spitfires, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about them. Yeah, I thought I'd cover those just because they're new and kind of explain where they came from and why. Yeah. Um, I guess the start for that is, you know, a couple of years ago when we came out with the ART 999. Mm -hmm. Um, the moment we came out with that, we started working on the next step on from there. Right. And um, if you look at the ART, the original ART, well, you should start with an HPS. The thickest point in the wing has actually got a curved back on it, the thickest point. So it's got sweep. And right. in the early days, we kind of had wings that were swept back. The idea wasn't they were better for, for turning. Um, the um, ART has got, it's pretty straight but it still has some sweep in it. So mm. straight after the ART, we started developing the next one. And it, I guess uh, it was based around this. This is five wings on from that, but yeah. this is a true straight median line. So the, the thickest point of the wing is a dead straight line from one side all the way to the other. So we call it a straight median line. Right. And any of the wings that we've done with a straight median line, very, very predictable and nice for turning. Mm -hmm. The other thing we did with these wings is we reduced the turn down on the tips. Um, basically what you have is, is you always get a lift basically in 90 degrees to uh, the wing surface. So if you had a lot of turn down on the tip, you can imagine the lift would go like that at the tips. Right. And that's okay when you've got the whole thing in the water, but when you pop a tip out, it's completely unbalanced and it crashes and it's all over. So with this one, you know, everything's more or less straight up for lift, but it has a little bit of turn down. So it actually rolls really, really nicely from side to side. Um, this, uh, compared to the ART, it's actually the same foil section. We, we tried a lot of other foil sections, but we couldn't find anything as good as, as right. the ART or the HPS. Really um, one thing we did do though, is we thinned it out. The, the, AR, the ART and HPS are 11.34% thick. This is a 10.5% thick, so it's okay. a bit thinner, but it's also a lot less cord. So right. it, very, very low drag. Um, once you're up. There's just nothing stopping. It just carries on going. Um, and these are what everyone's been racing on. Yep. For that. So that one there, that's what Ido has been racing yeah. the the Hawaiian season on. Um, it's the same one that Kai used in the M2O. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah. It's it's a rock. Very fast. Yeah. Well, the first one we came out with that was the 1201. And that's the one that Dylan Bears did three hours, yeah. eight minutes. No, no. Around. So, it, you know, they're, they're actually, all of these uh, pros, they're actually really good. For everything, you know, they're, they're great for downwind because they're very low drag on open ocean conditions, but they're actually quite good for surfing. They turn really nicely, really predictably, right. but it, it's speed, you know, speed surfing. And so they'd probably breach really well. As, they pop yeah. a tip out. I've got, yeah. and there's heaps of photos of, you know, this much tip out, yeah. no problem at all. So this one here and the Spitfire is actually the same wing. Right. So by that, I mean, it, both of these are an elliptical outline. Uh -huh. This one here, we've added a square tip. And we've added a square tip because it's so high aspect that the tip gets very, very narrow. So we've added that square tip on there. But it's an elliptical outline. Uh, it's got the same turn down profile. It's got the same foil section to it. Um, when, we, when we were developing this one, you know, we kind of got this one almost finished. Um, and we'd tried quite a few different things for a, a, a surf wing. And they were all kind of okay, but nothing was really that fantastic. Mm. And we really liked the way this rode and the way this turned. So we figured, why don't we just try a, a lower aspect version of this? So we, we pulled this one out. And when we first drew it up, it because the, the tips uh, are quite wide anyway, it didn't actually need anything squaring off on the tips. We just kind of left it like that. Yeah. And the, this is actually, we had a couple of goes at doing it, but it didn't actually take long to nail this one because we'd done all the homework on this one. Um, it, it turns... The Spitfire turns really, really nicely, pops a tip out really nicely. Uh, it's a great surfing wing. It's good in, in white water. But perhaps the most amazing thing about it is is the fluidity of the turns in between. Like when you lay it over in a turn and you cruise right, through the other right, side, it's right. buttery smooth and it yeah. just doesn't doesn't get tangled up. Very easy and predictable to ride. Um, you can get away with a lot smoother than you imagine too. Like the mm. guys, uh, our team riders here that have been riding, uh, at Rufus, um, they actually preferred the Spitfire and down these types of conditions for downwinding. And that 720, that little one there, yes, Edo did 12, a 12-mile 12 downwinder on that. That was his favorite for downwinding. Yeah. 
Wow. Go figure. So That's a damn wind rip it and turn it. Yeah. Well, he uses that. He uses the 780 and the 720 yeah. for surfing waves in Hawaii as right. well. So, That's you amazing. know, really cool. Kind of covers that. everything. The concepts from the ART Pro can carry straight over to the Spitfire. Same way. It's a really same way. Concept. Yeah. And then I see we also have some tails and then the advanced uh, black fuselage. Yeah. So with the um, with the ARTs being more more high aspect and and faster moving, you know the the our progressive rears, which they're great rears, right? They kind of ended up being not a great match. They're just too draggy. Uh, so we introduced the skinnies, and the skinnies. They're, they're different spans, but they're more or less all 360 span wide. And the, the difference between them is the cord. So they go right down to that one there. That one's um, 35 millimeters wide, and it's a it's a 10% a fall section. So it's only three and a half mils thick. It's a tiny little wing. Right. Um, but 360 span roughly for all of them. And the idea is you just pick what you need to, to balance you on the back. This one, the, the 35 is, is, you know, the... the Taishan kids, they, they use this for just about everything. Um, and then you just pick the one that you need. You, you need the stability you need, but any more than that is just drag. Um, one good thing to explain about uh, rear wings is the length of your fuselage uh, and the size of your rear wing gives you your stability. So the longer the fuselage, more stability. The bigger the rear wing, the more stability. But it's a preset bolt together. And as you start running faster and faster, especially with these high aspect wings, um, the pressure just keeps building up. So you end up with more and more and more front foot pressure and harder to hold down. So, um, you know, the skinnies work really well for that. Um, you mentioned the, the, the fuselage yeah. as well. Um, this is the Advance Plus, which is kind of just a, an iteration of our, our existing Advance mm. black fuselage. And the and advanced the mass further forward. To the forward. So yeah. we had our original. We always use our original as a, as a reference. So the advanced black was plus 40. This one's plus 60. And uh, it as maneuverability. It's a little bit more maneuver, maneuverable. And what it has is less front foot pressure. We, we, right. we kind of did when originally we had our original fuselage and then we did a plus 20 and a plus 40. The plus 40 was really good. So we... we went with that for a production one. Mm -hmm. uh, we were looking at trying to do a fuselage where you could take the back of the fuselage off and try different backs to try and mm. make it more adjustable. Right. Um, and to do that, we wanted to see one of the extreme parameters, where would you go, or what do you want to cater for? So um, in doing that, we tried some plus 60 fuselage, really just to write them off so that, okay, the plus 40 is great, we don't need to go there. And all of the team riders that rode it said, that's all I want to ride. So it's like... <laughs> So instead of eliminating, we kind of opened yeah. the door. So after that, we, we did a, a plus 80, a plus uh -huh. 100, and a plus 132. And the CFR. Uh, well, you've got to find out what yeah, it does. Exactly. Because, you know, so we, that was a fascinating exercise. Yeah. So um, if you take the 132, the extreme forward one, um, for all of this test, we had the, the, the front wing, the fuselage, the back wing, the board, the front foot, the back foot. All the angles of everything, exactly the same. So the only thing that moved right. was the mast moving forward and back. The controls. So at, at one, you would think that would make no difference because the mast is just going through the water. Why is it going to make a difference? Mm -hmm. And, you know, quite surprisingly, the 132, the plus 132, um, when you were trying to get on the foil, it would just, the board would just stay in the water. No matter how fast you went winging, it would be happy on the water. You could ollie it up, and once you were up, it would fly fine, but it was like 90% back foot pressure to hold it up. And even if you just rested your front foot pressure, no matter how fast you're going, it would just go back down and touch. Quite weird that it oh, yeah. adjusted the, the pressure of that so much. So the plus 100 and the plus, the plus 100 was also similar to that, mostly back foot pressure. The plus 80 was almost even front and back. And you kind of need something to push against. If it's totally neutral, there's nothing to balance on. It's kind of hard to feel. Um, plus 60 seems a really good balance. Uh, so we've just swapped that, the black fuselage out right. to, to an advanced plus. And so the Spitfire 900 seems like one of the best all-arounders and best sellers. Huh. Uh, the beat is an all-rounder. Yeah. yeah. And so how would you pair that front wing with one of these tails? What would be the recommended Depend, setup? Depends on what you want to do with it. So yeah. if, you, if you wanted to um, wing on it, I, I use that with a, an ultra short 60. Yeah. And I use the uh, 36250. That's right. the wing that sort of suits me. Um, a more advanced rider, they would definitely go on the 45 uh -huh. and on from there. But that's in a winging situation where you're, where you're moving fairly quickly. If you're using it in a prone situation, 
Um, a lot of the small progressives work really well. Uh, um, Shannon spent a lot of time playing with yeah. the, the the smaller uh, Spitfires in surf, and he actually like he rode those for a bit, but he's actually gone back to the progressives, and he really likes the two fifty and two seven five, tiny little ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he rides that with the seven eighty. No, it's his combo, and it works really, really yep. well. Lots of options, but they all seem to work. So, yeah. Lo I think one of the things about Axis is people like to find their magic setup, right. and every single part we've got in there, there's there's something, yeah, to be said about it. You know, you got to find your magic ride in there for sure, uh, and there's something for everyone in there. Totally. Well, thank you, Adrian. I really appreciate the breakdown. And yeah, one other thing uh, I want to add to that is the the shim set. We mm. just came out with a new shim yes. set. Uh, and it has uh, three negative, three positive shims in there, and they are quarter, half, and one degree, and they're right. stackable, so you can get, you know, the the half and the quarter gives you 0.75, et cetera. Yeah, nice uh, case too. Yeah, and there's um, instructions on the back yeah. as to exactly how to how to use a shim right. and what you like That's to like feel. That's like the most confusing thing for people is yeah. what do I do with the shim? The key thing for for shimming is that it, it's basically your your front wing and your, your back wing and the difference between them. All of our wings are generally about one degree up on the front mm. and the, and one and a half degree down on the back. So there's a difference of two and a half. So I call it uh, plus shimming. If you're lifting the back of the wing, the, the, the number More between is increasing. So that's why I call it a positive shim. Right. If, you're, if you're shimming it down, I call it a negative shim because right. the difference is less than it was before. Mm. So that's simple and it's really- It's relatively simple, but you can kind of get your halfway. So for example, if you're riding, if I rode a 360-45, I would find it a little bit twitchy. Not enough for me. But if I put a quarter or a half degree positive shim on it, it just gives that a little more angle and a little bit more positive feel. And it kind of does the same thing as me using the 50. So you can kind of muck around with, yeah. if you've got too big a wing, you can negative shim it a little bit. And right. it'll take some of the front foot pressure off, Make it balance it up a bit yeah. more. So shimming is a great thing, but it's... Well, I like to think most of the stuff for most people, you just bolt it together and you go. You don't have right. to mess with it. Yeah. This is kind of fine tuning. So cool. A lot of people get lost with this, but yeah. you know, there's well, that's why the instructions. There's there. a bit of info there to work it out. Yeah. And it does, there's a lot you can play with there if you want to. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's awesome to see the new line, uh, all the new logos, everything looks very clean. Thanks so. for coming by. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers.